Hey guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the dolphin emul emulator. Yep, that's how you say it. <laughs> so, okay, exit out of that. Go over here. Alright, so first, just go to the website in the description. It's called emulatorzone.com. You wanna go there? <coughs> Next, you wanna go over here onto the left hand side. You're gonna see it like Nintendo, then you can see GameCube. Click GameCube. Next, you wanna just scroll down. You wanna click on Dolphin. That's the only one that works. Other ones I've already tried doesn't work. Next, you're gonna see 32-bit, 64-bit. This is for Windows 8. So what you wanna do if you wanna see your, the bits on your computer, over here, right-click, System. If it tells you 64-bit, download the 32-bit no matter what. Even if yours 32-bit, download 32-bit. Because the other one doesn't work. I've already tried before. I tried on my 64-bit computer. doesn't work at all. It's going to keep asking some dumb errors that I've had before. It doesn't work. Just saying. Like, don't. If you want to go ahead and do that, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. But the 32-bit's the main one that works. So go ahead and extract. Alright, once it's done extracting... There we go, now you're going to have your dolphin, you're going to have your emulator now. Go to downloads, here it is, you got your emulator. So, what you could do, I mean, I just, what I do is I just drag this out, but if you want to be more like, you know, tight and needy and stuff like that, just make a folder called emulator, and just open this up, dra take it all, drag it in there, there, and make another folder, this I have to do, but just call it games. Because, you know, for all your ROMs and stuff. Next, go to the website in the description. It's called CoolROM.com. Obviously, you're not going to have this stuff, but CoolROM.com. And then what you want to do is you just want to go find it. Any emulator you want, just search it over here. I could search Pokemon, I guess. I don't like playing Pokemon, just saying. But, you know, just go and download any one you want. For Make sure, it's going to say right here, GameCube. Make sure it's for GameCube. Don't download one that's like for... DS and stuff for a GameCube. Next, after that, you once you get your ROM, let me go ahead and open up my ROM. I guess let's go download. Let's go and open up um, Super Smash Bros. All right, yeah, that's one of my ROMs. All right, so I got my ROM right here. All you want to do, drag it into the games. This will possibly not. This will probably take some time. I don't know how long, but I'm going to go and pause the video, and I will be right back in a short amount of time. Alright guys, I am back, and it just finished downloading, so I got it back. I got it right here in my Super Smash Bros. in my games folder. Now, go open up your emulator. You will be getting this error, I think. Yeah, I got this error a lot of times. So all you want to do is also go back into the link into the description. But for me, I'm just going to go to Google. Just type in X-I-N-P-U-T. It's going to be right here. 1.1 underscore 3 dot DLL. Click the first one, DLL file, stuff like that. It's going to bring you to this site. Scroll down. Download zip file. That's the one you want to download. Don't do this one because that's what I used to do. And you have to do a lot more stuff. It'll make your computer all slow and stuff. So download zip file. Open it. Take that out. Now all you want to do is just drag this into there, into there, yeah. Open this up, you should get the XI input. Now open it, and voila, it worked. Now, you can either do it the regular way that I see lots of people doing. I really personally just don't like it that way to me. But, uh, word on my uh, desktop. So what you want to do is you use, if you want to do, you can do the regular way, but just go to games and then double click your ROM and it'll open up. But for me, my way is double click here, scroll down, go to your games, hit OK, there. It's right there. Every time you turn it on, it's going to be right there all the time. Open it, and just watch. There's your ROM. Mine's obviously going to go pretty slow. I got an HP, which will make it kind of go slow. I understand it's, it's, you probably think it's like a really good computer. Just some of the games, you know, it's going to be kind of slow. I mean, it's not going to be like 100% freaking going fast like, you know, those, um, like a Mac and stuff. 
you know. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, let's say it just didn't work or, like, something messed up, screwed up. Hey, John, I forgot to mention this. I'm sorry, but I forgot to mention this as well. You're going to be needing WinRAR. WinRAR is possibly the main thing you're going to be needing for almost everything. For Minecraft, for anything, you're probably just going to be needing WinRAR. And uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I will possibly see you next time if I ever do another tutorial. Because I don't know if I will. I just like this is my like first or second tutorial. But thank you for watching and see you later.